For the first time in five years, Bowling Green came down to the Convocation Center and escaped with a win over the Ohio Bobcats 58-56. to Two early corner threes from Maurice Endor and five points from C.J. Hall pushed Ohio out to a 15-4 lead. But BG switched to a full court press in a 2-3 zone in the half court, which forced five Ohio turnovers. Falcons turned defense and offense and tied the game at 18. We played awful against the zone the entire night. You know, all the concepts that we teach and, and work on, we just didn't do any of them. We, we were just bad in all areas of zone offense, so we're going to have to get much better. Final eight minutes of the first half was a game of trading buckets, but Ohio held the advantage. The Bobcats shot 45% in the first half and entered the locker room with a 33-30 lead. But the Falcons controlled the second half, starting on a 16-9 run to take a 46-42 lead. The Falcons were led by forward Spencer Parker, who had a game-high 16 points, guard Javon Clark, who scored 15 points, and Rashawn Holmes, who added 12 points. The Cats kept the game close, but could never get the boost that they needed to soar past the Falcons. Hall led the way for Ohio with 15 points, and Endor added 12 points and 8 boards. Ohio out-rebounded Bowling Green by 2, but 13 offensive rebounds for the Falcons proved to be the difference, as it led to 7 second-chance points. BG also forced 18 Bobcat turnovers, which led to 25 points for the Falcons. The Bobcats returned to action Saturday afternoon against Eastern Michigan. For WOEB Sports, I'm Colin Brown.